What's your steps of being from like a small city like Selma? How would you work your way up in the White House? Was it hard? Did you have to climb? Well, that's a really good question, Antoine. In fact, I had lunch today with a friend of mine, and we were talking about, he was about my age, and he's had a career in the United States Navy, but he's also ended up in Washington. And we talked about how did we both get here? How do we both become the path of positions that we have today? And I think step number one, and Ms. Vance is going to love this answer, step number one is to do the very best you can in school and to get your high school degree, to go on to college, you possibly can get some education after college. Then there are a lot of opportunities here in Washington DC. There are internships where you can come during the summer and work for a member of Congress or work for different uh, organizations around Washington. We have interns here at the White House Historical Association. So we college students can come and work with us or work with members of Congress. And two things result from that. You get experience and understanding about how Washington works. But the, almost as important as it, uh, more important than that is building relationships and connections that you keep with you after that experience. So you can call on them, stay in touch with them, call on them, and let them mentor you a little bit. So you can say, Antoine, you come and you work for Congressman Smith, and you stay in touch with the staff in Congressman Smith's office. They know that you're going to graduate from college. You want to move to Washington. You want your first job. And you get them to help you get that first job. And then as you go on up, then you stay in touch with all these people. And you build a great network of contacts. One good thing about Washington is there's always a lot of change. Every time there's an election in the Congress, that's every two years. And for the presidency, that's every four years. There's a lot of change in staff and opportunities. Here. But to get that first opportunity, I would say as soon as you start college or graduate from high school, is to try to get an internship here in Washington. Come up here, you live in one of the dormitories of the university, you meet a lot of other students your age, and you have the opportunity to be exposed to life here in Washington. And that's the very best way to get started.